Hello, this is Yogeshwar 7000 again and I'm back on another interesting topic today and we'll be talking about Sun's placement in the third house. So we're not discussing right now what zodiac sign Sun would be. It's, it's irrespective of the zodiac sign but just as a placement of Sun we'll just discuss whatever the zodiac sign is. What is the effect when Sun places itself in the third house or when sun is placed in the third house at the time of birth so the ancient scriptures have given um, some kind of an indication explanation as to what happens and the third house as we know is the house of siblings so first of all well sun is a malefic and technically speaking sun is not a malefic it's a very hot planet so it although it has the sattvic gunas it is uh, considered to be a, a malefic it's actually not a malefic but it's hot hot so it behaves like a malefic it makes every planet which comes in contact with it or in close proximity to it become combust, combust and powerless so it's considered a malefic otherwise malefic planets are classified under Saturn, Rahu, Ketu, Mars, those are malefic planets. But uh, Sun also, although technically not malefic, but comes under the classification of malefic because of its hot nature, because of its ability to burn every everything which comes in close proximity to it. So the placement of Sun in the third house is not good. Why? Because the third house is about siblings brothers ancient scriptures mostly you know uh, unfortunately I would say that they give they give more importance to the male sex rather than the female so instead of saying siblings they will always say brothers in the putra bhava in the fifth house instead of saying children they'll say putras or sons uh, maybe at that point of time it was more of a male dominated society but uh, the third house is a house of siblings so sun when it's placed in the third house once again regardless of what zodiac sign it is in it is bad for the siblings the elder siblings and the younger siblings may not survive or may be in some kind of a troubles um, so that's what the ancient scripture says as far as siblings are concerned and uh, also in case the placement of sun is such that it's associated with the malefic either by conjunction or by aspect so say for example sun is sitting with the, the planet Mars or it's being aspected by Mars it is an associate it's an, it's associated with the malefic similarly if his sun is sitting with the uh, Rahu, Ketu or Saturn again it's associated with the malefic or if it's being aspected by Rahu, Ketu and Saturn like Mars it is considered to be malefic and that's also not a good thing not got a good placement not a good combination as per the ancient scriptures and it is believed or it has been mentioned in the scriptures that he will be kind of cruel now why would he be cruel because the third house is sometimes called the house of the motivation what motivates that person it's about courage what kind of deeds will he do what what kind of a courageous attitude he'll have well, if they are cruel planets, if they are malefic planets, obviously he'll do cruel deeds. So that's how any kind of an association with Sun, Sun who's itself a very hot planet, if it associates with another malefic, he will be very cruel. He'll be motivated to do cruel things. And of course, at the same time, bad for the siblings, brothers or even sisters older brothers 
younger brothers younger sisters older sisters not good they may be in trouble they may be sick and they may not even survive so this is what the scriptures say the scriptures also say that in case son while sitting in the third house is associated with the malefic he may have more than one mother now why do they say that more than one mother why because there won't be any siblings so in old days and ages when people used to have more than one or two children or they would rather had a preference for having more children and if the chart of the child had son placed in the third house aspected by malefics then obviously he will not have other siblings and that's not what the family wanted so the maybe the husband at that time will go and marry the second time and more than one wife were allowed as per law in those days and ages you know there have been instances in the ancient scriptures about people having more than one wives so uh, it's very clearly mentioned in the ancient scriptures that he may have two mothers and that's the logic behind it but at the same time the third house is also a house of courage and as per general principles of astrology the placement of malefics in the third house is good so what he'll do is he'll become a very very brave guy willing to take risk risks will be a great fighter will be very courageous so it's a mixed thing well it's bad for uh, for siblings it is bad as far as being cruel himself is concerned but at the same time it's good that he'll be a great fighter and he'll he could be a warrior and you know he'll be very courageous so so it's it's good in a way as well now if sun is all by itself the shastras say that he will also have wealth once again why because again placement of malefics or a hot cruel planet like sun will give wealth that also is something which is mentioned in the ancient scriptures so once again you know this is the good part of it now in case sun is sitting all alone in the third house and there is a benefic sitting with it or there is an aspect of a benefic his brothers and siblings will be happy they'll be wealthy they'll be prosperous and in case the sun is associated either by conjunction or aspect by a malefic again we already discussed that that the brothers may not survive so don't jump to a conclusion if you see sun sitting all by itself well the good thing is once again he'll be courageous he'll be wealthy and he may not be that cruel just sun by itself but if sun is associated with the malefic it'll destroy brothers he may become cruel and in case if sun is associated with a benefic like uh, venus or jupiter then it's good for the for the siblings and uh, the brothers may become rich and prosperous as well so that's how you can determine the situation of the siblings based on what association sun has while sitting in the third house there will be growth in the family if there's an association association of benefits to sun sitting in the third house so uh, once again uh, you know it's good and bad news both generally scriptures say placement of malefics in the third house is good and in case the placement of sun is such that it's all by itself i think that's ideal rather than having a malefic aspect or conjunction 
and if it has a benefic influence in terms of an aspect that's even better so please uh, remember that uh, look at the aspects as well when you're considering the third house while sun is sitting in the in the third house also in case sun is associated with benefics in the third house meaning which if sun is sitting not by aspect the, the association is not by aspect but if it's sitting if sun is conjunct benefits in the third house generally it is seen that the ninth house will be benefit will be beneficially affected as well and why because the ninth house will receive a direct aspect of the sun who is sitting with the benefit in the third house so it'll be good for the fortune because the ninth house is about fortune and uh, also sun is a planet of vitality it will make the persons uh, more uh, as far as strength and courage is concerned and um, as far as the fortune is concerned direct aspect in the ninth house is good so um, this was what the ancient scriptures say about when sun sits in the third house and um, hopefully you enjoyed this video in the meanwhile I will recommend subscribe to my channel check out my website there is a link below and i'll see you with an interesting topic topic on vedic astrology very soon goodbye